you know, I was living that life. I was really living what I was rapping about. I ended up catching the face, caught a weapon stars. The, that weapon ended up having a body on it. That turned into an investigation. That turned into, you know, them trying to charge me. I really didn't do that. And I'm not just saying that, like, I really didn't do it. I wanted to ask you a question, man. Um, mm -hmm. You you posted something on your Instagram, man. Y'all go check out his Instagram, uh, Tajay310. T-A-J-E-310 is his personal Instagram. It's got a lot of gems on there for you guys, man. So I, I highly recommend it. Um, you posted something that says, the way you want others to love you is how you should love yourself because loving yourself will teach others how to love you better. And I was like, bro, like, like I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm 40 years old and I'm barely learning like what that means, like to love myself, bro. And it really resonated with me, man. So I'm curious, man, if you could give us like a little bit of like, you know, guidance on like how, 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 how can we better love ourselves? Well, you know, a lot of times in psychology, we focus on internal processes, things that are going on inside of us, mm -hmm. you know, things that are going on unconsciously. I mean, but, a, but a big part, you know, of, of psychology and natural awareness is also looking at things from another different point of view. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So as much as we want to know internally, we also want to know about like environment and what things look like from the outside. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And the same way you would look at another person or another child, you know, or a child who has your same attributes, you know, you would want to respect that person. You would want to love that person. A lot of people don't look outside of themselves and look at themselves as a walking person. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Like you're a person. Right. You know, we tend to just look from the inside out. You know, we're not looking at ourselves and the pain that we're going through and, and the things that we're going through, the things that we've uh, accomplished, the the uh, obstacles that we've toppled, all these different things. We don't tend to give ourselves props for that or look at ourselves as a person. Like if you're looking in the mirror and you see yourself. So mm -hmm. what I try to do with myself is I try to, stay in that point of view as well as the internal like I, I look at myself and be like man that dude deserves love man he's doing a lot out here he's helping people you know he done been through a lot of betrayal that person deserves to be loved like anybody else and if nobody else is going to give it to him then i can i can give him that love and that's me you know what i'm saying so it's because sometimes all you got is yourself you know why you sitting there waiting and begging for somebody else to love you and doing reckless shit to try to impress somebody to show them that you you know that they should love you a certain way do that for yourself OK, like how we was talking about this industry, right? You can see a lot about human nature in, in this industry. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. uh, this this industry is full of dick riders. You know what I'm saying? They dick ride with other people, what other people like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is, so if you use that same concept with yourself and be your own biggest fan, yeah, you're going to piss some people off because they don't want to <laughs> see you shine. You know what I'm saying? But you also showing them like, yo, this nigga deserve respect. This nigga think he the shit. And you carry yourself like that and then you deliver your shit too. like, yo, he really is the shit. He know how to do whatever he doing. Like, mm -hmm. oh, he, that's why he talking that shit. You're teaching them that you, yo, this is the type of respect that I deserve. And this, I'm not standing for no less. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You teaching them that by respecting yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. By loving yourself, you know what you need from other people. You know what I'm saying? You know how to set your boundaries. If you love yourself correctly, you know what you won't tolerate from other people because you know what you deserve because you've given it to yourself. So you like, yo, I'm not I'm not standing for nothing less than what I'm doing for myself. So that teaches you how to show other people how to respect you, how to love you, how to be sensitive to the things that you want to be sensitive to. You know what I'm saying? So when you get other people that think like that, you're going to have a beautiful friendship or you're going to have a beautiful relationship or whatever it is, whatever the, the, the nature of the connection is. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what I mean. That's basically what that, that means. You know, that quote, you know what I'm saying? Is, is loving yourself does a lot. It creates boundaries for other people. It also shows them how they need to be with you or they can kick rocks. Uh, I think that's the best, the best uh, uh, translation for me is is the boundaries part. You know what I mean? Like being able to uh, set them and and be OK with them. Just me realizing that boundaries are OK. You know what I mean? And, and Absolutely. They're they're needed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like sure. they're necessities, bro. If you ain't got no boundaries, bro, you're going to have a miserable outing out here. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, like, that's true. You, you got to have boundaries. You got to know how to set them. And you also got to know how, how to reinforce them, stand on your boundaries. You know, otherwise, if you don't know your boundaries, nobody else going to know them either. And they just going to be stepping all over your space. Oh, man, that's a tough one. Uh, self-love is something that I don't think a lot of us are, are really taught, um, either by example or uh, even somebody explaining it to us. So to have somebody like Tajay, somebody that's been through the hardships of, you know, growing up in the streets and dealing with, you know, different struggles within himself to then learn um, how this stuff is affecting us to then come back and try to like help us figure this out is like really special. So I hope you guys are taking the same message that I am. And that is to make sure that you are taking the time to uh, reconnect with yourself um, give yourself that love and that praise that you would give to somebody else if they were doing the same things that you were. It's just that you can't do that to yourself because it just makes you feel awkward. You got to just start somewhere, you know, and hopefully this video is that starting point. Um, if you uh, like this video, if you think that it's a, an important message that somebody else should hear, uh, please share it. Please hit the like and the subscribe and then hit the bell button next to it so you're notified when we drop new content. It'll really help us grow. If you guys want to become members, um, please go to patreon.com backslash grown man sessions. Um, thank you to all the people that have donated and, and become members. It, it makes such a huge difference. Uh, we're a very small channel and we're just trying to keep growing. So your guys' help is it means the world to me. Um, in the meantime, uh, take care of yourselves, uh, be nice to yourselves, and I hope you guys are having a great day.